Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a service that is provided by Amazon, which is AWS Cloud9, an integrated development environment to write, run, and debug our server side code. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. The AWS Cloud9 IDE it is a web application that runs on an EC2 instance. So when you create a Cloud9 environment, the Cloud9 service launches an EC2 instance, and you can access that web application from the AWS Management Console. Now having an IDE running on an EC2 instance inside our VPC provides a number of benefits. Like we can run our code on this EC2 instance and test and debug this code on this EC2 instance all inside our browser. IDE uses the logged in user's permissions, so we don't need to worry about creating a role for our EC2 instance to access resources. An EC2 instance has access to all resources that are enabled using the credentials of logged in users. IDE has a terminal window and this allows us to send commands through the command line interface to an EC2 instance without having to worry about setting up an SSH connection to that instance. In Cloud9, we can also upload files directly using a browser from IDE to an EC2 instance without having to worry about setting up an SFTP connection. And then finally, the EC2 environment that is created by Cloud9 will automatically stop when we stop using it. And when we want to use it again, it will simply restart. Okay, so now let's see how to use it shall we? So as you can see, this is my AWS management console. First here, let's search for the service, Cloud9. Here it is. So click on it. Now here, let's click on Create Environment. Here we need to give the name to it. So let's say, S3, Cloud Hub, Demo. And then we just click on Next Step. So now here, we are configuring our EC2 instance. So here we are going to create a new EC2 instance. Then instance type is going to T2 Micro on the free tier. Then we will keep it as Amazon Linux which one is recommended. And then, here we have cost saving setting. So after 30 minutes, this EC2 instance will go into hibernation mode. And we will save costs, so we won't pay for compute capacity. But of course we will still pay for the storage that is attached to this instance, but it won't be too much. And here as you can see, it will create an IAM role for us that will give us a permissions to access resources through this EC2 instance. Then we have network setting over here. I am going to leave it as a default VPC and that will be fine. So click on next step. So that's all we need to do, to create an environment. So let's click on create environment. So now the Cloud9 service is now going to create, or launch our EC2 instance. And it is going to create a role for that instance. That's going to have the permissions that we have as a logged user. So after a short time, we got our EC2 instance launched. And here as you can see on the screen, we have our AWS Cloud9 IDE running on that EC2 instance. So for check, let's go to our EC2 console. Here let's go to dashboard. And here we can see our EC2 instance is running. That is AWS S3 Cloud Hub Demo. Now let's go back to our Cloud9 IDE. And here we can see one more thing we can see at the bottom here. That's the console screen or the terminal screen. So we can send commands. And it also have the CLI out of the box installed because it's an Amazon Linux EC2 instance. Now what we can do is. We can make sure that everything is up to date. So to check we need to run sudo. Yum. Update. So as you can see it is up to date. Now we can check whether the Node.js application is installed or not. So to check we need to run a command called node hyphen hyphen version. So as you can see, node is already installed in it. Now what we can do is, we are going to create a file a JavaScript file. And then we will run that JavaScript file here. So for creating a file let's go to the file menu here. And then let's click on new file. Now let's do just console.log and then just call out a string hello world and then we need to save this so let's again go to file and then save 
and we just call it index.js and just save it. So we can run it now. So to run this file, just click on this green run button here. So it will run this file in the debugger environment. So as you can see, the debugger terminal is now opened. And here it is printed out, hello world. And then the debugger has disconnected. Okay, so now what we can do is, we will do something little bit advanced. So first let's close this terminal. And also I am going to delete this index.js file. So what we will do now, is we will clone an application from my GitHub repo, so we can build our simple Node.js project. So this is just off the S3 Cloud Hub's GitHub site. So we will just clone that GitHub repository. So yes now you can see, now we have our AWS Cloud 9 Node.js directory. Let's expand it, and here you can see, we have got a server.js and package.json file. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to install npm for our application. So first let's change the directory to our application directory that we have just cloned here. Cause we need to be in the directory where the file is or where the package.json is. So to install npm just say, npm and then install. So yes, now you can see, some files and directories are added to our directory and we are good to go now. So now let's see the content of these two file. First let's open this package.json file. So here as you can see, first I have mentioned the name here, then version, the description, and main, which is server.js. Then we have script of it, and its dependency. And second we have server.js file. So in this file you can see, we have port which is going to 3000, then host ip. And here it will print, or we can say it will send a respond with this string, like hello world. So this is very very simple and easy Node.js application that we are going to run, where it will receive a request from any IP address, and then it will send a response with hello world, and it will be running on port 3000. But before we run our application, we need to do some changes in our EC2 instance, cause our application will run on the EC2 instance that we have created. So we need to edit the inbound rule of this EC2 instance. So first let's go to our instance. And here, let's click security and open the security group. So here we need to edit our inbound rule of this security group, so let's click on edit inbound rule. Now here, let's add a new rule. Here port is going to be 3000 as we have mentioned in the code and source is going to be anywhere from IPv4, so it can receive request from anywhere. Let's save the rules, and let's go back to our IDE. Now here to run this application, if we click on this green run button, then it will give us an error like server.js file is not there. So for that we need to click on run option at the top of our IDE. Then here you can see we have option of run both the file so let's click on it. And yes, here you can see our application is now running, and it is running on this port. So let's click on it and see. So yes we got our hello world text here. So it means our application is successfully running on port 3000. So guys that's how we can run our Node.js application on the AWS, using AWS Cloud 9 IDE. I hope you all guys understand the concept behind this. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.